the exercise to be familiar with the NCBI nucleotide database. It's NCBI nucleotide database is part of the so-called GenBank, although there's really no uh, uh, specific database for GenBank anymore, but that's a legacy term we're still using. So the question say, uh, answer the following question regarding a gene using GenBank record accession number NM, triple zero four a four dot three. So that's the that's basically the social security number of this gene. And so every every one of them has a social security number, but for every gene in the gene bank or the NCBI database, it also have a social security number called accession number. <coughs> so those are number are unique. So there yeah, we're going to pick this one. NM triple zero four a four dot three, and then go to the NCBI database to find out this one. So I'm going to go to NCBI. Okay, that's the NCBI. So once I Google it, actually shows nucleotide. That's a nucleotide database. And if it doesn't go there directly, you can select here. So there are books, uh, epigenomic gene genome geo. Homology, there's a lot, right? So in fact, if you scroll down, you will see many, many uh, useful information here. And we actually also uh, talk about PubMed on the first day of the class, but here we are going to use nucleotide. We did a nucleotide, uh, nucleotide. Okay, and, and oops, uh, we are going to use NM underscore triple zero for a four dot three. That's the accession number, so I'm going to search. Ah, it actually goes directly to the to this one. So double check here. NCBI reference sequence NM triple zero four A four dot three. This is the gene we are looking at. Okay, then we can so this is basically Homo sapien amino beta precursor protein transcript variant 1, mRNA. So this is the amino beta precursor protein. Okay. So it actually shows the locus, that's your uh, access. So what is a dot 3? Dot 3 means version 3. If you see a gene say dot 1, that means version 1. Dot 3, this means this is the third version of this gene. So this one has, how long is this one? 3640A base pair. This is the mRNA, it's linear. And it seemed to be last updated in uh, September 19, 2014. Uh, well, this is a human organism Homo sapien, that's a human. Uh, I think the question also asks you to find out how many exons this gene is. So if we scroll down, there, look at the features. There is a whole field called features. And among features, those are the source basically means the entire gene. And then we, we look for this gene. This is the mRNA, so the entire length is the mRNA, is this gene. And then you see exon. Exon 12257. So that will be one exon. Uh, CDS. What is CDS? CDS basically is open reading frame. It's also called coding. So CDS the CDS stands for coding sequence? CDS? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, right, so this is verified by, by external peer reviewed source. So, <laughs> okay, CDS, but let's look for the exon again. Oh, this really a lot of feature, but you just have to be patient, look for the exon. Well, on the website, you can actually. There is one thing, if you don't want to count, you can actually search, right? So file, if you go to edit, there is a search, you might, so search for exon. Uh, right, that's the first exon, I search again. Uh, I, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, that's not a one of the features. That's just that. Okay, it goes back. So I, how many data I count? 
okay i'm going to trust you <laughs> so that's basically it uh what else do we need to answer that question uh, uh okay what's human how many exon 18 what type of disease is associated with well what type of disease you basically have to read its uh, record right so uh what type of disease uh, well you can search for disease well here uh alzheimer disease amyloid it seems to be let's search again disease alzheimer well there are, there seem to be a lot of publication on this uh, alzheimer disease here right <coughs> so it's and if you really want to make sure you can click one of those PubMed ID so this is PubMed that's the PubMed ID that's basically <coughs> uh, uh, that's al almost like the social se security uh, record for each publication so you we click on that open a new new tab see actually that the Alzheimer's disease associated with beta protein is an right so that seems to be very clear to show this protein is associated with Alzheimer's disease, right? So there, so, okay. 